Hello, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to Trainer Sim World 2. Now, Spirit of Steam has only been out for two and a half days. And so, I thought I'd try and do something that quite a lot of people are doing. And I thought I'd have a crack at it and see what it's like. Now, for those of you who do play Train Sim World 2, you are familiar with the route, the West Somerset Railway, which is a, you know, heritage railway line. Well, there's a problem. Well, actually, I wouldn't say problem, but there is uh, an issue. Uh, when you click on West Somerset Railway and go to Explore and then Time Table, the only locomotives you get are diesels. And there are quite a lot of diesels to choose from, like from a Class 31 to a 45 to a 47 to a Class 09 or even a Class 33 or even a Class 20. Quite a lot of diesels in this game. But because the West Somerset Railway is a heritage railway line, we all think of steam engines. So we don't want diesels. Rubbish! Now, because there's only diesels for the West Somerset Railway, we can't drive a steam engine on the West Somerset Railway. Or can we? Well, I'm actually glad to tell you that actually there is a way. <laughs> So if we press back and back again and back again, what you want to do is obviously you want to log in uh, to your Train Sim World 2 and you want to click here, which is Creators Club. Mm. So we click on that and we go to Hub and if we click Search, well that's liveries, uh, we go to uh, this one, Scenarios. So if we type uh, West Somerset Railway, then press Enter. Now, what you want to find, if you want to let's click on the page, ah, Jubilee on the West Somerset Railway. So, we want to click on that, and all you want to do is click subscribe, and that's it. But there is something important. If we click to uh, require content, these are the required DLCs you will need to buy to make this work. So we've got Diesel Legends of the Great Western, uh, BR Heavy Freight, West Somerset Railway, of course, and this Northern Trains something. And obviously you want Spirit of Steam because, you know, Spirit of Steam, is, that's, that's the whole reason we're doing this, this little project because we want steam engines on this railway. So now that we've subscribed and we have the required DLCs, what we want to do now is go back to the West Somerset Railway and then you want to click Tools and then go to Scenario Planner. Uh, where is it? 101 West Somerset. So let's have a look. Jubilee, that's what we want. So drive the Jubilee, X5 Mark 1. Yeah, that's the one we want. So let's click on that. And that's it. We're, we're, we are loading in to what can only be described as a steam engine on the West Somerset Railway. So here we go. Uh, it's 12 o'clock precisely. LMS Jubilee. Lovely. Uh, let's click begin. And ooh, let's have a look around. Yes, we have a steam engine on the West Somerset Railway. <laughs> now this is like the obvious thing you would do is put a steam engine on the West Somerset Railway because, you know, steam engine on a heritage railway line. It makes sense. So we're pulling some uh, Mark 1, well, 5 Mark 1s. We've got a lovely, beautiful, I believe this is a Class 52. It does look nice though, especially in the red. I've got, I'm not a big fan of Class 52s at all, but this red livery, it really does look nice. So we've got a green signal. So what we want to do is release the brakes, put the uh, locomotive, or the whole train in fact, in forward. Uh, we'll put dampers on, both bad dampers on 100% because, you know, it's me. Uh, large injector, fully open. Now, I did make a mistake in the very first Train Sim World 2 video. I, I did make a mistake. I did leave the uh, large injector fully open throughout the entire time I was driving. So, when it's on 21-ish, yeah, that's fine. So, now we can turn it off. We don't need that anymore. Uh, open firebox doors. And I think, um, I think that's it. We're, we're ready to go. Oh, let's open the roof because I, I, like, I like having the roof open. Right, uh, I think we are ready to go. Uh, stop at location. Let's have a little look on the map to see where we got to stop. Yep, yeah, that's good. Right, let's just get moving, shall we? So we're going to do a little two of the whistle. Very nice. Let's get moving. We're going to start off with maybe 5%, maybe 9%, maybe 14%. No, I'll do, won't it? Now we're moving. Hey, we're finally moving. And the thing is, having a steam engine on a heritage railway line, it, it 
it, it really does work. So you're not just driving diesels anymore. You're, 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 you finally you actually have a steam engine on a heritage railway line. It's, it's good. And also, because we're on a heritage railway line, we don't need to get, you know, put it in full steam ahead and just, like, let, you know, just see how fast we can go. No, we, 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 we've, got to, we've got to do this by the book. So I want to get, like, a really cool shot of the... Uh, of the wheels like so, very nice. We'll close the firebox door because we've got plenty of steam and plenty of uh, PSI. So we'll just uh, we'll just we'll just let the engine go, really. In fact, I want to get a really cool shot of the uh, of the steam engine passing the level crossing. Do a nice little two. Oh yes! Oh, that looks so nice. It looks so cool. Now I know this might be a very ridiculous thing to say, but like I might have said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Like, when you're looking at this in Train Sim World 2, the locomotive looks massive and, and you, you feel tiny, but like in, in any other train simulator game, it just feels like a train set. It, it doesn't feel real, but this, it does. You, you, feel, you feel like an actual person because of the sheer amount of like detail and, and like the whole, like the, the size of it. It's. It's incredible. All right, now we can give ourselves a little bit more speed. So let's turn the cylinder cogs off. Let's see if we try and, you know, get a, just get maybe up to like 25 miles per hour. 30, perhaps. There we go. I want to get like a... Oh, this, this is a beautiful, like... There we go. I want to get like a beautiful, like, close-up of the wheels as we're going along. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to finally actually drive a steam engine on a heritage railway. It, it, it makes sense. This, this makes sense. And the fact that, we, you know, we're only pulling, what, five, like, Mark 1s. Like, it's not like a long train, but it's not a short train either. It, it, it's about the same amount as coaches they pull on the Midhands Railway. Although, I'm not sure how many coaches trains pull with the West Somerset Railway. But I'm guessing it's five, maybe less, or maybe more. I, I don't know. I'm, I am not familiar with the West Somerset Railway at all, I've never been there, and, well, I've just never been there, that's that's all I can say. And I'm going to keep quiet for a second, because I want you guys to listen to the to the sound of the, like, the clankiness of the rod. So if I turn the game volume up just a little bit. You can actually, like, hear the, the clankiness of the rods. That's, that's, it's sound effects like that. That really get me going. Like that, that really, it really excites me of how much work. I know I keep saying this, but Dovetail Games, you you have made one heck of a DLC here. You, you really, really outdone yourselves, Dovetail Games. <laughs> really great work. What's the name of the Jubilee that we're using? Uh, um, that I can't, I can't actually pronounce that, and I'm not even going to try to because people are like, "Oh my god, lazy! You're so dumb." I am dumb. I can't, I can't read. I'm, I am dyslexic. I cannot read words like that. Right, here's our first stop. We're going to apply our brakes just a little bit. Uh, oh, look at these people waiting to see a steam train. Hello. Oh, look at that person. He's not very happy, is he? he? Looks really, really miserable. Why is people so miserable in this game? Oh, and I stopped too early. No, I stopped too early. Oh no, the headlamps! I forgot the headlamps. I always forget the headlamps. In fact, I should not forget the headlamps because if I actually show you behind me, I actually have an old-fashioned railway headlamp. This this is real. Look, if I, it's metal. Well, of course it's metal. But if I like open it up, it's it's a this is a real steam engine headlamp. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to get this lighter thing. You don't use lighters, kids. It's very dangerous. I'm actually going to use this. To light up the candles inside this lamp. So if I close it, oh, it's very warm. If I actually show you, it actually it's lit, it's lit up. It's a real working like headlamp. How cool is that? This is probably one of the most amazing souvenirs I've ever received. So what to do now is we're gonna blow it out. <laughs> right, back to business. Uh, we stopped in the station way too soon, so. We're just going to forget the passengers here, shall we? No, we'll, 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 well, actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll let these passengers on. They've, they've been waiting long enough. This is actually a really lovely little station. You've got like a, you've got like a little uh, platform here and like a little work shed and stuff. This is a really nice little station. And I'll tell you what's also nice is the lighting from the sun shining on, on the side of the locomotive is beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's open the doors. And let passengers on and off. Are you guys getting on? 
No one seems to be no one seems to be getting off or getting on. Oh, suit yourself. Well, I'm not waiting for you guys. I'm 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 a busy man. I've got I've got places to be. Do a little toot of the whistle again, and let's get moving. All right, full steam ahead, uh, Jubilee class. Let's get moving. Oh no 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 no! Don't don't do that! Don't don't do that! Don't wheel slip! No! Don't do that! We we if we wheel slip, we'll lose steam. We don't want to lose steam. Very carefully, slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady, it's good, it's, it's, it's fine, we're fine, it's all good, I know what I'm doing, ah, that's more like it, oh, we've got a whistle sign, so let's uh, blow the toot of a whistle, in fact, I want to get like a, a, a view from the from a passenger's view, so if we like stick our head out the window, because this is what we normally do at a, a heritage railway line, we, uh, if, I mean, who does not stick their head out of the side of a carriage when you're on a heritage railway line, I mean, I, I sure do, I do it, but, you know, shh, I wouldn't recommend it, don't, be safe kids, don't, don't, don't be silly, but if we blow the whistle again, it, it sounds so real, I don't know how they've done the sounds, but the sounds are incredible, <laughs> right, how fast are we going, oh, we're going a little bit over the speed limit, so we can, you know, have the power off, in fact, I want to listen to the clanking sound effects of the uh, of the rods again. God, it sounds so real, doesn't it? It's, I, I, words can't describe of how impressed I am with this DLC. I hope Dovetail Games make more. Dovetail Games, if you're watching, I hope you make so much more Steam engines for this game. I mean, I know this took a long time, but... I hope you make more steam engines, like, uh, more British ones as well, because, in my personal opinion, British steam engines are the best. I mean, think about it, we have the Flying Scotsman, we have the Mallard, we have the 9Fs, we have, uh, the Merchant Navies, they're a good one. Although the Americans do have the Big Boy, which is big and strong and quite impressive, but also quite outrageous. But my point still stands, please make more Steam Engines Dovetail Games because this is incredible. You have done so well on this, but obviously we want more. We want more Dovetail Games, yeah! I tell you what, a Class A4 would look spectacular in this game. Hmm. Right, we are slightly speeding, so I'm going to apply the brakes just a smidge because we are coming up to our next stop so release the brakes again now we have got plenty of uh, psi which is why the uh, steam's going mental it's quite dark in it can we turn the lamp on there we go that's a bit better you can actually see stuff now because it is a bit dark and I'm, I'm really glad that they've actually added a lamp inside the camp as a as a light so yeah that 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 is that is a great feature britain's lovely this time of year isn't it Right, we can apply our brakes a bit more now because we have got a red signal up ahead. We do indeed. So I think get under 15 miles per hour, maybe 10 miles per hour. Oh, look, there's another train in the uh, station. What is it? It's a Class 33. Oh, I do like a Class 33. I tell you what, this is like the uh, the historical moment of having a, a steam engine next to a Class 33. Do a nice little long two. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Hey! <laughs> oh, I've just hit my head on the... Class 33. That looks so cool, though! Oh, it's beautiful! Finally, a Class 33 next to a Jubilee class. <laughs> so we have got a red signal, so we do have to stop here. And that's good. Hopefully we can pick up some more passengers. So if I stick my head out the window, or maybe above the roof or something. No, we'll, we'll have it about here. So we are fully in the station. Apply our brakes. Like so. There we go. We're fully in the station. Yes, we are. Um, open the doors. Let passengers on and off. Is anyone actually going to get on? No. No one is actually wanting to get on. Oh, the Class 33 is moving. Oh, I want to have a look at the Class 33. Ooh, that looks so cool. I do, I do, I do like the Class 33. Ooh, that is nice. Come on. I mean, it is nice. A 33 is nice. For a diesel locomotive... They are nice, but not as nice as a steam engine. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have a steam engine in this game. You have no idea how long I've waited for this. Right, we still have a red signal, which I'm a bit confused. The class 33 is gone. So, like, what, what is it that I, that I could be waiting for? Should I shut my doors? That's a good idea. Shut the doors. You're free to go yet? No. 
Oh no, there's another train coming! Oh, it's another steam engine! I didn't know there was another steam engine! And what number's this? Uh, 45725, and what's the name of this one? It's another name that I can't pronounce, but I don't care, because, you know, I'm, 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 it's another steam engine! Oh, that looks so cool! Two Jubilee classes. Oh, look at that. Ooh! That's beautiful. I, I really like that. So it turns out I am not the only steam engine on the West Somerset Railway. No. Well, my friends, I'm going to close this video off for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. But I recommend you guys doing this. Get all the DLCs that you are required to get to, you know, make this scenario work. I would I'd recommend it. Driving a steam engine on, on a heritage railway line is amazing. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Yeah, bye. things sort of